Hey everybody, this is Mike. Uh, hope you're having a good Sunday afternoon. I wanted to share something uh, that happened to me last night. I went to see a classic film on the big screen, and the film was Jaws. I have nothing to show you. I don't have it on DVD. And I have to say, it's the first time I had ever seen it. <laughs> 38 years after the fact, I finally got around to seeing Jaws. I don't know why I never saw this movie. It just... I, I do remember that I went to see one of the sequels, and I don't remember how many there were, but Jaws 3, Jaws 4, whatever. Uh, the only thing I remember about the movie is the fact that Lorraine Gary was in it, and she was the only original cast member. Beyond that, I have no idea, no idea what that movie was about. I must not have liked it very much. But anyway, I've never seen Jaws, so I wanted to give my first impressions of seeing a classic after so, it's so much a part of the culture. So I saw it on this uh, old movie palace, big screen. It was a beautiful print. I mean, they really got a beautiful, beautiful print of this film. Very few, um, you know, snap, crackle, pop things going on. And it was very impressive from the, from the start. Um, what, what impressed me the most? Okay, I'm a big fan of a movie called Piranha, directed by Joe Dante in 1978. I've seen this movie a thousand times. I could probably tell you every line of dialogue. And in reading about this movie, I know that it was supposed, it was made as a send-up of Jaws, a spoof of Jaws. That's what I've heard so many people say about it. So when I saw this movie um, from the beginning, the first several scenes, developing the characters, the, the people uh, who were like the mayor of the town, who didn't want to believe that there were shark attacks because he wanted the beaches to stay open so that everybody could come and have a good time and spend their money on this island, right? And sorry for the clock, now we're going to hear bells ring for about three minutes. <laughs> okay. So I was looking at this film from that perspective, the perspective of comparing it to Piranha, right? Because I could see, yeah, okay, that character, the character of the mayor was obviously in Piranha, was matched by the character played by Dick Miller, who was the, uh, the owner of the resort and didn't want to believe that there were Piranha attacks in his water. So that's what I was looking at. I, and I, the scenes uh, in the water where you show uh, swimmers, you know, kicking their legs and all that, and you hear the uh, tense music going on, that's, I, I found myself chuckling because I was thinking of Piranha. But, uh, and it was also kind of funny, right at the beginning of the movie when they, they had the doo-doo, 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 start up, a lot of people in the theater started laughing. And I did too, because I've heard this a million times. It just, I realized how much Jaws is a part of culture. So I, I kind of knew something about it, even though I had never seen it. So the movie got going. And I have to say that as impressive and exciting as the film was, and all the special effects, and this was 38 years ago, what made it believable for me, as in all the films that I see, it had to be the acting and the writing. All the actors were believable. All the characters were believable and very well um, fleshed out. And I liked, for one thing, the relationship between the Roy Sche Roy Scheich, yeah, Scheider character and his wife, played by Lorraine Gary. I thought their relationship was uh, just, just very believable, uh, very real. There was a scene where Richard Dreyfuss comes into their house, comes to their house when the two of them are trying to have dinner, and Scheider is just in shock about one of the killings, and she's trying, to, she's trying to get him to communicate. So she goes to the door, lets Richard drive us in, and he says, I'd like to talk to your husband. And she said, so would I. <laughs> I thought that was a great line. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked um, all the actors in the film. So when the Robert Shaw character comes in, and he's obviously, you know, a, a raving lunatic, which later on Rory Scheider says, you're certifiable, you know that? You're certifiable, which is true. But I found all the action just to be very exciting. And I, I don't know, I can't imagine uh, what it was like to make a movie like that. I mean, how did Robert Shaw feel when he was being pushed into the, uh, the, the giant fish? That must have been a very interesting thing for an actor to go through. But, yeah, I, I guess I knew that we were going to see uh, a lot of, you know, sharks jumping out of the water. That, that's such an iconic image, even for those of us who have never seen the film before. But, uh, and I... I don't know, I, can't, I guess I was expecting not to be that involved in it, and just to look at it as a, an interesting curio from another time. I didn't feel that way at all. I had a great time watching it, 
it was very exciting. I'm not one of these people that loves film violence. I've talked about this in other videos before. Uh, I'm not one of these people who uh, watches a killing and goes, oh, wow, that was awesome. Uh, I know a lot of people do, but I'm one of these people that cringes when I see uh, somebody getting bitten in, half, bitten in half by a shark. It's not a pleasant experience, but I thought they kept the uh, graphic stuff down to a, well, as, as minimal as possible in a film like this. I was not overwhelmed by, you know, blood and, and body parts flying everywhere. So, <laughs> anyway, it was an interesting evening, and I just wanted to share uh, what it was like to see one of these uh, classic films that everybody else in the universe has obviously seen a thousand times, and I'm the last one to see it. So I'm assuming that most of the people who were in the theater last night, and I don't know this, they've probably already seen it before. But still, everybody was jumping at the right moments, and uh, so did I. <laughs> it was great. So anyway, okay, that's my Jaws experience, and uh, interesting night at the movies. Okay, comments are welcome. See you later.